New details tonight on a massive street racing bust over the weekend. 69 people were arrested in a street takeover on Roosevelt Boulevard near the I-275 interchange Saturday night. You can see in this video just how dangerous it got as cars almost hit people. And they say this was just the warm up as a group was preparing to take over other intersections around Pinellas County, putting you in danger. Law enforcement agencies hope these arrests send a message of zero tolerance. Yeah, they hope that a new law giving police agencies new tools when it comes to cracking down on street racing would help curb the dangerous behavior. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser taking a deeper dive now into whether that's been the case and anything else that might be in the works. Our agencies were made aware of a so-called street takeover. 69 arrests, including 57 misdemeanors, 12 felony charges, and 23 vehicles impounded. St. Pete Police and other agencies hope those sorts of numbers send would-be street racers a zero-tolerance message that puts the brakes on the so-called intersection takeovers. The results of our operation on Saturday night are absolutely staggering. Law enforcement is using a relatively new law that took effect six months ago. Police no longer have to witness street racing. Video often posted on social media is enough to make an arrest. Car owners can lose their wheels for up to 30 days. And participants, as well as those just there to watch, can be arrested. Because it's a statewide issue, we're seeing this in Miami, Orlando, Tampa, here. Several agencies have been using the new law to crack down on street racing. There have been similar operations in Pinellas and Hillsborough and South Florida in recent weeks. But yet, they have not yielded to the new legislation. 10 Tampa Bay has learned that when street racers started to feel the squeeze in Tampa Bay, they simply shifted to South Florida in recent weeks. But a zero tolerance stance there as well has drifters and racers recently moving back to Tampa Bay. We hope that through those efforts and through prior tragic events, that the desire to engage in these activities would dissipate. Turns out that is not the case. To help, there had been some talk of a bill in the legislative session to increase racing penalties to a felony, giving Florida's law even more teeth. But so far, only a mere general aggressive driving bill has stalled in the Senate and lacks a co-sponsor in the House, leaving law enforcement to work with the law passed in October. If there ever comes a time when it's apparent that they found a way to circumvent or find loopholes in that, we'll go back and we'll, we'll increase uh, those penalties and we'll put more teeth into it. But right now, the laws on the books, they work. Investigators declined to go into detail about what sort of surveillance techniques they're using to find out about these meetups and takeovers before they happen. But they hope as word spreads of the sheer number of arrests and the owner's expense of paying to impound those cars for up to 30 days, that their efforts will eventually start to gain traction. In St. Petersburg, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Police say those towing and impound fees can reach into the thousands of dollars. Violators also risk losing their license for up to a year.